When you're cooling down, the first thing we want to do is bring our heart rate down slowly. So typically this means dropping our run down to a walk. You see this a lot if you watch, say, the Olympics. You see the cyclists, they might jump on a static bike with no resistance and still do some more pedaling after their race. And that's because you don't want to just stop. You want to slowly build down just to make sure that those um, your heart rate goes down slowly and doesn't just drop off. After that, you might want to do some static stretches, and I will talk you through a few of those now. So first up, if you bend your knee, stick your other knee out, point your toes up to the ceiling, you should feel the stretch, particularly down in your calf, but the whole way down. You can also lean forward, bending the front knee, keep the back leg straight, and again, you'll stretch all the way down there. You can hold your knee up towards your ass, and make sure you keep your hips forward. If you do this, you're not really gonna get any stretch. If you push them forward, you're gonna get a stretch down the front of your leg here. And also, if you wanna stretch the glutes, which is the back here, you wanna cross your leg over as if you're sitting down, and then sit down like you're doing a squat, and you should feel the stretch down here. So there's some basic stretches that you might want to do once you've brought your heart rate down a bit just to stretch out the muscles at the end of a run.